Is there anything they anything wanted to hear? They're yelling for Dizzy Rascal. <laughs> There is, uh, there is no way in hell Peter could follow that one. It's a little too complicated. Yeah. I, that, I, I said that as an excuse because I probably can't remember it, but hold on a second. This isn't bore you me doing this, is it? I, don't, it's, five people say no. Everybody else goes, well, you know, I wasn't going to tell you. But. One burning afternoon under the waxing jurisdiction of the harvest moon We took a ride, we went far away And I remember it as though it were yesterday at the pet store Stereo played songs we both knew And I reached my arm around and touched you I felt the sun burning into me And I knew I'd find the physic for my malady at the pet store Hair caught the sunlight as you opened the door. I'd never seen your hair looking quite that way before. I heard the parakeets punctuate the mama with their shrinks and fries. And I saw the reptile cages reflected in your blue eyes. Their green bodies conspiring therein to find a separate universe where it was no sin. I'm fond of that one because of what inspired me to write it. It was originally called Rock and Rock and Pet Store. I think it's called something else now. But uh, but I took Franklin Bruno, uh, one of the best songwriters this country has produced in the past century, uh, to buy crickets uh, with me because I had a pet scorpion and some frogs, and I had to feed them crickets. And so I took him to buy the crickets. I always get very excited in the pet store because I was, they have chameleons and their eyes move different directions, and they had oh the fire belly toads. And, uh, and these wonderful newts. And I get very excited. I'm kind of like a five-year-old at Christmas in pet stores. And Franklin said, you're like Jonathan Richmond in here. He said, and then this was his imitation of me writing a song about, I've seen a lot of pets I can't afford at the Rockin' Rockin' Pet Store. Somebody should do something about that song. 